I'll show in this video how to add Ubuntu Linux desktop on EVLAB and connect it with uh, Huawei router uh, to make network connection and uh, initiate SSH connection from Ubuntu desktop uh, to, to the AR router. First, I have to check that Ubuntu image is transferred to images directly path in EVE and GVM. Uh, to check that, I have to make SSH connection to the EVE uh, VM and check the images path, which is slash opt slash unit lab. slash add-ons, slash QEMU. And I'm going to list the uh, directors. Here I have Linux Ubuntu desktop directory. I'm going to this directory. And to check the image here, it's already transferred. So now I can get back to the lab and go to the left side of the window and add an object node and check for Linux Linux Ubuntu desktop version 16. I am going to allocate on 0 0.24 megabits for it. It's so quite enough and one ethernet port is okay for it. And click save. That will drop the Linux desktop to the lab. Now I can connect the Linux desktop to the switch. The Linux ethernet port is E0, will be connected to the switch. I will change the port. To be fast Ethernet one slash two, then click save. Now I have established uh, the connection. It's time to Power on the switch, right click on it and click start. And I'll do the same for the Linux desktop. Now, both devices are being loaded. Double click on each one to check the loading process. This is Linux and this is a switch. It's already started here and Linux takes some time to finish loading uh, until Linux desktop finish loading. I'll get back to the router to check some configuration that will enable uh, this router to make a uh, network connection with uh, Linux such as I have to to, uh, to make sure and assign an IP address to the, IP, to, to the giga ethernet zero slash zero slash zero. This interface, which is connected in the lab to the switch and the switch is connected to the Linux. So also I have to configure the ethernet zero interface from the Linux side with an IP address uh, in the same subnet of the router. So I can make proper IP connectivity between the Linux server and the AR router. So let's log in. Now I logged in to the router. We'll go to the system view to, set, to make some configurations like the interface. Let's check the interface IP. Zero slash zero slash zero is already 
configured with the IP, with an IP address. Let's check the Linux desktop again. Now it asks me to enter the credentials required to log into the machine. Let's get, let's get back to the router again. Now it's time to make sure that the SSH configuration is added to the router. The SSH configuration is based on four steps. The first step is to uh, generate RSA local key pair using this command, RSA local key pair create, enter. It's already added before and generated before. We can replace it by type yes. And then we specify the key length, which is one zero to four. The keys now are being generated. Now let's go to the user interface, VTY, zero to four, and make the authentication mode as double A. And also to enable the protocols, the SH protocol on it. Then now it's time to add the uh, local user for the SSH. So I'm going to get in the triple A mode and add a new local user. I name it as Hamdi, password cipher. I will make the password for Hamdi as Huawei. Then I will give the privilege to the local user Hamdi to initiate SSH session by this command, local user Hamdi service type SSH. And finally, I will enable the STLNet server, which is the SSH. It's already started because I typed this command before. And also, I will add the SSH handy, SSH user handy to make authentication type using password. Now I have finished the configuration. I'm going to save it. Now I'll get back to the Linux desktop and configure its interface with an IP address. I'll go to the IPv4 settings and choose the method as manual. Here, I will add the IP address 10.1.1.3, submit mask 255.255.255.0. And gateway as two uh, as ten dot one dot one dot one, and click save. I'm going to open the terminal to check the IP connectivity with the router using ping. 10.1.1.1, which is the IP address of the router. Now I'm getting 
reply from the routers. So it means now that the IP connectivity is established normally. And now it's time to initiate the SSH session using this command SSH. After the SSH keyword, I have to specify the username that I have added uh, in the router to uh, SSH to it. At, after the username, I type at, then I'll specify the IP address of the router, which is 10.1.1.1. .1 .1 then press enter. Now it's my first time to get into the router. So um, um, there's a authentication of the host, authentication process. I have to be asked to continue the authentication process. I answer yes. Now the, the router is asking me to enter the password for Hamdi. Now I have logged in successfully to the router. The problem put, change it to the host name and uh, the user mode uh, of the router appears now. Let's check system view. Now, unrecognized comment. I'm unable to get into the system view of the router to make changes. Let's make display. There is no display, display current configuration. Also unrecognized comment. Now I'm unable to, to place any comment on the router. However, I have logged in successfully using SSH. Uh, the issue is the privilege I have assigned to Hamdi in the router. Let's, let's check on it. Let's get back to the console of the router, display current configuration, configuration, triple A, and look for Hamdi, local user Hamdi. The default privilege level is zero. Zero, I'm unable to do anything on the router. To change, that, to change that, I have to get into the triple A mode of the router and change the privilege using local user Hamdi. Privilege level 15, then press enter. Sorry, privilege. Local user Hamdi, privilege level 15, then press enter. The router is sending me an alarm or a warning that this process and this comment will affect the, the online user, which is on the uh, Linux desktop uh, machine. And asking me, are you sure to do that? I'll answer yes. Let's get back to, again to the Linux desktop. I'm disconnected because of the recent change I have uh, made to the privilege level. So let's make the SSH again to the router. And enter the password. Here I have I have logged in successfully to the router. Let's go to the system view. Here I'm unable to go to the system view normally. Wait, display current configuration. I can view the entire configuration file of the router uh, normally. So in this video, we have added Ubuntu Linux to our lab and connected to the router using uh, SSH. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can be a good value for you.